everybody. Welcome to Snoozer's Storytime Adventures. And how are we doing today, Snoozer? I'm feeling cheerful. I am happy and excited. You know what, Snoozer? I think you're always cheerful, happy, and excited. Those are nice character traits to have. Really? What? What is a character trait? Well, a character trait is just something about you that makes you special. Like, you're always such a cheerful and happy person. And every time I talk to you, I feel like I'm in a really good mood. What are your character traits? Hmm. Well, let me think, Snoozer. It's kind of hard to identify your own character traits, but I think I'm a very helpful person and a very kind person. That is nice. We both have character traits. I think everybody has special character traits, things that make them individual and special. And that reminds me of a book I really want to read. It's called ABC Rise Up and B. And I will tell you who the author is. It's Anne Marie Riley Gurton. What is it about? Well, it's an ABC book snoozer, but it also talks about very important character traits. And as we go through the book, you'll see pictures of people, and these are very famous people that had certain character traits. And I don't have a, t I don't have the time to go through all of them, but on the back, you can read about all these influential people, all these famous people that had special qualities and traits that made them special and helped other people. Oh, wow. I wonder if they were like me. I'm sure we will find some people that are happy and cheerful and giving and kind because you're those things too, snoozer. All right. This says, you have the right to be involved. You have something important to contribute and you have to take the risk to contribute it. So you have to share. Once you know what your special gifts are, you should share them with others. Take a risk. Rise up and be ABC. In a world where you can be anything, B A is for accepting. A rising leaf doesn't cause others to fall. Be the wind that helps everyone soar to new heights. B for big hearted. A big heart embraces life and all of its beauty and marvels. You're pretty big-hearted, Snoozer. <laughs> C for courageous. Courage is a whisper from inside that says, you can do this. Fighting for what is right will never be wrong. D is for daring. Choreograph your dreams into reality. So that means if you have a dream, have the courage to try and accomplish that goal and make it come true. E is for encouraging. Let your words be heroes with invisible capes, especially in times when things seem dark. F is for fair. Playing by the rules and keeping an open mind creates the harmony that beautiful things need to grow. G is for generous. A ripple of kindness can spread across oceans. And I recognize this person. This is Clara Barton. She was a famous nurse that helped others. So that's why I see that symbol, because that usually means help or first aid. Humble for H. A grateful heart is humble in mind and fearless in spirit. Do you know what humble means, Snoozer? Yes. Yes. Let me try to remember. Um, is that when... You don't brag? That's exactly what it is. So you might be really good at something, but a humble person doesn't brag about it. They're just, they just show everyone that they've got that beautiful skill or talent, but they don't brag about it and make others feel bad. I is for inspirational. Create, 
dream, sculpt a beautiful future filled with endless possibilities. J is for just. Allow others to be seen and heard. Everyone deserves an ally, which is a friend. K is for kind. Oh, this is Mother Teresa. Acts of kindness and care grow beautiful blooms. L is for loving. A loving person creates a loving world for all its inhabitants. And you're very loving, snoozer. You help create a loving world. M is for mindful. What we do with today will matter for tomorrow and perhaps for generations to come. N, noble. A strong moral compass will always guide you in the right direction. O is for open-minded. Think freely and let your mind and heart wander to spectacular places. Persistent is for letter P. Be patient, but never give up on your dreams. A steady light can shine a hopeful path through even the darkest forest. Q is for quirky. Without the dreamers, the impossible would never have been possible. What does quirky mean? Quirky. Quirky is different. People that think out of the box. Really creative people. You might be a little quirky. I can think of a lot of things that you are, Snoozer. But you're a dreamer, and you make the impossible possible. R is for respectful. See the dignity in everyone. Sincere is for S. Vulnerability can heal nations. And this is Gandhi. T is for truthful. Always be honest and your truth will show others the way. U is for understanding. Everyone's heart sings a song. If only you take the time to listen. I like that one. V, vocal. Even the youngest voice has the power to shake the roots of the earth. W is for wondrous. Unlock the beautiful experiences that life has to offer. Mrs. Hamilton, I see a rainbow on there. Oh my gosh, I do too. It's almost like they're opening up a treasure box full of beautiful experiences. X is for Zena Dokeel. Be friendly, for all the world is your neighbor. Y is for youthful. Keep the eyes and heart of a child, and you'll always see what's possible for the things you love. And Z is for zestful. A thirst for adventure will give you wings to fly. But most of all, be you. From A to Z, you are everything this world needs and so much more. Oh boy, oh boy, that was fun! Yes, that was really a very beautiful book. And it is full of all these very, very famous people. So if you have this book or you get it, you can read about all the people that have had influence in the world. All right. Well, my goodness. We learned so much about all the different things that people have to offer. So... Maybe you don't even know what makes you special yet, but everyone has something that makes them special. And once you find out what that something special is, you should share it with others so they can learn from you. And you can learn from others. So, I think I'm just going to make up a song. And it's going to be called, Rise Up and Be Who You Are. 
Never be afraid to be who you are. All right? It goes like this. Rise up and be who you are. Rise up and be who you are. Rise up and be who you are. What the world needs now is you. Be accepting, be big hearted. Be you. Be daring and courageous. Be you. Be encouraging and fair. Be you. What the world needs now is you. a nice song. Just a nice reminder to always be yourself. Be true to yourself. All right. Well, since we're talking about what the world needs, I thought it would be fun to make an earth hat. The whole world. So we are going to work on this project and then we can wear our hat and really show the world who we are. So this is what we are going to need today to create our earth hat. And let me teach you some tricks here, snoozer. I think this is how I color this. So I'm not gonna cut it out first because if I don't, then I can color out of the lines. I'm not gonna color out of the lines here, but first I'm just gonna trace the parts that are the land really quick, and then I can color them in. All right, now for the blue. All right, what do you think, Snoozer? Does that look like the whole world? Yeah. I have blue for the water and green for the land. Wow, it really does look like the world. I got the whole world in my hand, snoozer. All right, now I'm gonna cut this out. All right, we're gonna cut here. These two. All right. I'm just gonna fold this back a little. Got a little curled with all the coloring. All right, now to put my hat together. I'm gonna use tape. You can glue it, but I wanna put my hat on right away to show everybody. So I'm just gonna tape it. And then I gotta measure to make sure it fits me. Unless you wanna wear it, Snoozer. Do you wanna wear it? Yes, I wanna wear it! All right. I want you to show the world all you have to offer and encourage other people to do the same. Is it on me now? It is, it looks great. Wow, I have the whole wide world on my head! <laughs> That's right. You look great. Okay, well, I had such a great time with you, finding out what makes you tick, what makes you special, and I hope some of you think about what makes you special, and once you do, make sure you share it with the whole world. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Would you like to do the Mrs. Hamilton craft just like me? Guess what? You can! Head to your local library for all the materials that we use in the craft.